up? It's Samantha from Hall Family Vlogs, and I am here to do the end of the year 2017 tag. I was tagged Mommy. by Life in Provoville, so I am going to get started. Yeah. Question number one was favorite song of 2017, and one of my very, very favorite songs of 2017 was Mercy by Shawn Mendes. I think we overplayed that song enough for it to almost be the worst song that we've heard, even though I love it. So, number two, most annoying song of 2017. Now, let's just say that my mom came down here in November, and when she came down here, my nephew came, and he played this song over and over and over. It's called Rolex, and it also happens to be on this game that my son plays all the time, and I literally can't stand it. So, that has to be the most annoying song. All right, number three, what made you sad in 2017? So um, I'm sure most of you that have been following or watch our channel know that we've been through multiple, multiple funerals and deaths this year. And we lost the kids, Uncle Jimmy. And the big one that really, really made it sad for me this year was losing my cousin's baby. He was just born, like literally a week old. And we had to bury him. His name was Ryan and precious little baby. I never got to meet him because I was sick and I felt like it was just best for me to stay away from the hospital so he would continue to thrive versus get sick and something happened and then he didn't make it. And that was probably the hardest and saddest thing for me to go through in 2017. Number four, what challenged you most in 2017? So clearly, as I watched Ree's video, one of the things that was a big challenge to me was um, YouTube because I'm just I can't seem to get the hang of how to grow my subscribers and how to edit and make my videos awesome to watch and all that stuff so it's been really difficult and the other thing so far in 2017 that has been very difficult or hard for me has been learn learning patience when it comes to teaching my six-year-old daughter how to read because if you guys know I homeschool and it is new territory for me to teach how to read because I didn't teach my son how to read. He went to kindergarten in public school. So it's been difficult. And Lord, pray for me. Please, guys, pray for me that 2018 will be better and she will learn quicker how to read. On to the next question. Did you accomplish anything in 2017? Yes, I did. I hit 100 subscribers on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. It means the world to me that you guys actually feel like I'm important enough to sit down and watch our videos, or even if it's not me, but sit down and watch my children as they grow because they are very precious, and we are so thankful to have such amazing children. Yes, they drive me nuts, um, but I love all of them, and I'm so thankful that they're healthy and thriving and enjoying life and learning and everything else that I could literally talk forever about my kids, so we're going to go on. All right, number six. Did you do anything on your bucket list in 2017? Well, guys, I don't have a bucket list, so that question really does not apply to me. All right, number seven. Did you live up to your 27 resolution? No. Two of my big resolutions were um, I got an Apple Watch for Christmas last year and I wanted to complete all three rings every day for 365 days and I failed or else the watch failed me. One of the two, I, I kind of feel like it was the watch because it doesn't pick up a lot of my steps. Like I walked two miles the other day and it didn't even show that I took that many steps. So that was one that I failed on. And number two was I planned to daily vlog all of 2017. And I don't know how daily vloggers do it because I, I literally just can't. So, yeah, that's why I only do three uploads a week now. But anyways, those were the two ones that I didn't really complete for 2017. Number eight, did you meet anyone from YouTube? No. Would I love to? Yes. And um, one day... I will because Yay! we want to move to California, so I'm sure I will meet many of the um, YouTubers that are there. Um, also, one of the big ones that I've come to really love and I would love to meet her is Re from Illuminated Reality. I guess it's Reloaded Reality now, um, but I love her videos and I would so love to meet her in person. She is just so funny and so down to earth. She doesn't care what others think about what she has to say. She just says it. And I'm like that, so I would really love to meet her in 2018. 
Number nine, did you go anywhere fun in 2017? Yes. The one big place we went this year was Great Wolf Lodge. We took the kids there for my daughter's birthday. If you guys haven't seen that video, go back and look on my channel and you'll find it. Um, it was a great, great, great experience. And we went during Halloween. Her birthday is um, October 5th. But we went during the Halloween time and they had trick-or-treating and we got to, you know, explore the water park and it was just a really great experience. Oh, and not to mention we got upgraded to an even better room than we booked and we couldn't have asked for a better experience. Like it was absolutely amazing. All right. Describe your year in three words. Can you can you tell them three words? Blue. Say umbrella. Umbrella. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Say yellow. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. How about dog? Cat. How about ho ho ho? Uh -huh. Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is my son Nathan. If you guys didn't know, he just turned two on December sixteenth, uh -huh. and he is truly a blessing to us, like Mama legit Kiki. blessing. He is just so. Kiki so amazing but anyways three words to describe my Baby. year would be Baby. roller coaster Help. called life Look. because we've had a lot of things happen to us we moved in with my father-in-law this year a lot of things happened to my Baby. husband Baby. you need to go go ask the brother Baby. but anyways um it's been a roller coaster of emotions like positive and sad and it's just been everywhere. So my three words I would use would be roller coaster of emotions or roller coaster called life. And we have one last one. And is that any goals of 2018? And yes, um, one of our goals is to move this year to be closer to my family. Another goal is to start a business. I really, really, really want to start a business this year and become successful. Well, in 2018 i'd like to start a business and become successful with it but um i'm having a hard time trying to find my niche so pray for me guys that i will figure out what that is but anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up make sure you follow our page because why not we have cute kids we have great personalities and it's totally worth watching so um, make sure you guys subscribe i am sure we will have a travel vlog in 2018 because we're going to be moving, so I'll show you guys the, pa the packing and the process of what we choose to do as far as um, transporting our, our cars and our stuff down there as well. So, anyways, that was all we have for today. So, we're going to go ahead and go. If you guys liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Bye. Bye. Peace.